All right. Weigh in, day five. And, huh, lost 0.2 pounds. Hmm, not great. Need to exercise. All right. All right, 83.2, 83.4 is, so I've, although it's only 0.2 pounds, which is a little disappointing, it's um, 10 pounds overall. It's exactly 10 pounds. So that's exciting. That's good. Uh, I just made my breakfast, waiting for it to cool down. It's weird, I don't get as excited anymore by the sound of, the potatoes. I used to love the sound of taking potatoes out of the oven and pouring them into a bowl because they were crispy so they'd sound hard and a little bit sizzly and just there was a sound to it when you knew you'd got them right because they sounded almost solid but you knew that when you bit into them they would just be buttery and moist and delicious. Now nah, the sound doesn't do it for me <laughs> anymore mostly because I, that, I know that's the sound of highly nutritious cardboard. <laughs> that's really where it is I know they sound the same now uh, I think it's going to be a struggle today I'm already thinking God I hate the potatoes <laughs> And I don't I love them But less All right. You know I'm definitely not thinking clearly I just made the video You just watched before this um, And Maybe three or four seconds Before I hit play to, Or record uh, I said to myself, oh, you got to remember to mention the microphone. And I forgot to mention it. I'm just like, I'm so, my brain is just not together at all. Um, which is why creatively it's a mess right now. Um, but yeah, my microphone's screwed. I don't know what it is. It sounds really muffled and there's background noise going on. So I don't know, I might have to buy a new microphone, which is so frustrating. Oh my God, my life is a nightmare. I got to buy a new microphone. definitely slowing down just got to stay with it I mean contextually like I got to think I'm losing pound a day it's just contextually it's it doesn't seem as good because I was losing so much weight water weight probably um, but now I'm only losing you know pound every couple of days two pounds every couple of days maybe it's just a stall this isn't a stall though I got to remember if I lose a pound a day that's amazing that's ridiculous, in fact. So I've got to get it in context. But I, I think it's because the diet is so restrictive. It's like I'm eating, I don't know, seven, 800 calories a day. And I'm not in starvation mode. Maybe I'm eating more than that. You know what? I need to figure out how many calories I'm eating. Yeah. 1,000. I just figured it out. It's uh, close to 1,000 calories per day in potatoes. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking potatoes. Holy shit. Um... That's still a, not much. I'm a big dude, man. Yeah. I've noticed something here. So the weight loss has slowed down, right? It's like the other day it was only half a pound, I think it was. And I can't remember what it was. It's not much. It's slowed down, right? But um, as sick as I am of potatoes, there's something mentally changing me. Like the changing in me, the expectation of food is different, which is interesting. Like I'm not. I'm not craving other food. I don't want potatoes, but I'm not craving other food. I'm just kind of accepting the lack of variety, which is odd. The moment I start cooking the potatoes for whatever meal it is, then I'm sick of it. <laughs> but like right now, I'm just like, that's just what I do. Now what I do is eat potatoes. It sounds ridiculous, like a lifer in prison. It's only been six days. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd record that. It's interesting. I'm not sure if this will stick. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it does. I hope that putting, adding like salt and a little bit of garlic powder sometimes or a bit of pepper to my potatoes 
uh, is not just staving off the inevitable binge for tasty food, right? Which has been the problem with my diets over the years. And anyone who's fat will recognize this, right? Which is that um, you diet and then it's the, the weight gain when you come back, which seems like this eth eth ethereal, <laughs> ethereal, wait, enigmatic reasons. Like you gain more weight after your diet. Well, it's pretty obvious why, in my case at least, it's because I've starved myself of all those foods and I really want them. So my diet ends and I have them. So yeah, of course I'm going to gain weight. It's nothing wrong with the diet. It's the starvation of the desired foods. So I'm hoping that this slight reset that I'm feeling, less craving for all of those foods, but boredom with potatoes still. Still bored. I want something else. I'm just not desperately desiring other things. I hope that sticks. Because if it does, that will be a really good sign for the future. Mm. Perturro. Way in time, day seven. Let's do this thing. All right, let's see. What? How have I gained weight? I've gained half a pound. Hmm. I've gained half a pound. How can I have gained half a pound? Wait, okay. Let's try a little movement here. Well, that's annoying. Gained half a pound. Well, that is really frustrating. I don't know how I could have gained half a pound or 0.4 of a pound. Like, it's. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> How's that possible? Like, I, I get stalls and, and not losing weight. Although, if you eat less calories, I don't know. Yesterday, I went for a long walk. Like, I was active, I cleaned out the back area, like, I did stuff yesterday. I ate perfectly on my diet. In fact, you know what, now that I think about it, I did the best, probably one of the best days I've had on the diet. I ate breakfast, and then, you know, I fasted for 12 hours overnight, I ate breakfast at about 9 o'clock, potatoes, obviously, and then I didn't eat again till 6 o'clock, or no, wait, no, I had 3 o'clock. I had like a snack of potatoes again, and then I had dinner at six o'clock, potatoes. But I think I ate under a thousand calories. Fuck, <laughs> it's really annoying. It's really annoying, this is day seven, man. This is like, it's getting really old now. I'm so tired of it, I'm so tired of it. Um, hmm. I don't know. Ugh. Potatoes! All right. Well, regardless of the fact that I've gained weight, it doesn't make any sense. Half a pound. Uh, I wanted to go through the. Uh, let me move these across. Hang on. I wanted to go through the list of things, right? So the weight check. So 282.8 is after one week, right? 282.8 is just under 10 pounds. Oh no, just over 10 pounds lost, which is great, right? For a week, that's really good. It's amazing. Yeah. I've done more than that, like on the Atkins diet. Although the Atkins diet doesn't work for me anymore. Protein diet, just, it, I don't lose weight in it. I don't know what it is. Um, but it's still 10 pounds in a week. It's great. Um, but a lot of that's water weight, which is what's kind of worrying me. I was expecting a little more, or at least consistently more. But still, 10 pounds. Uh, the sleep. The sleep has definitely got better. Definitely got better. And I think that's not the potatoes. I think that's the soda. I think that's the lack of caffeine. Um, and maybe I just need to realize that if I, you know, with soda, I just can't, I can't do caffeine anymore, you know. There's caffeine-free Diet Coke, so I can have that. There's a, and there's just, you know, drinks that just don't have caffeine, right? So I think I've realized that although my sleep is still not great, I still only sleep five and a half, six hours. For me to sleep five and a half, six hours, I need to not have caffeine. You know, particularly in this current mental state, I need to not have caffeine. So there's a good lesson there. So weight loss and good lesson on sleep is good. Um, depression hasn't got better. It's got worse, actually. But, but again, I, I think I'm realizing I'm kind of eliminating some things here. So I'm eliminating my diet or my, my self-health. The idea of looking at myself and saying, okay... 
are you looking after yourself are you eating well are you walking regularly are you loving on yourself right if you're not then that can stimulate depression especially or, or exacerbate depression that's already there well i am looking after myself i am i'm trying really hard i'm being very mindful of it and it hasn't helped the depression which is um very frustrating you know uh, i think a lot of it has to do with the job can't get a job man it's really weird can't find a job um and i don't have any motivation so i'm probably not trying as hard as i could but so the depression is not good uh i'm more anxious <laughs> Anyway, you know what? Go back and watch the first video, the pre-checking. All of those things still hold true. Uh, I don't want to bore you with them. Um, the skin condition is interesting. So the skin condition got better on day one, like literally halfway through the day or the, or the next day rather. Uh, but I noticed halfway through the first day. Totally cleared up, no dry skin. Now it's back. And it wasn't there yesterday. So I gained half a pound last night and my dry skin came back. So... Again, what? <laughs> Did it change my soap or something? I don't know where it is. I don't know. I really don't know what that is. But anyway, the skin condition's back. Physical, um, actually physical better. Okay. So physical better. My arthritis, I still, sorry, back cracking my knuckles there. My arthritis is, um, doesn't feel as bad. It's probably not arthritis. It's joint ache. And it's not really ache. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Swollen joints, like a little bit swollen, just or feeling them. Feeling them is a better term. Uh, I don't really feel them anymore, so I feel a lot better about that. Um, the ball of my foot doesn't hurt. I mean, again, a lot of it, I think, is to do with the fact that I'm walking properly. I'm walking with the dogs, taking them out. Um, but overall, I would say physically better. And also, losing 10 pounds is going to make a big difference. I feel, I feel lighter, right? So I just feel a little bit more agile. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit uh, I'm not an agile man uh, but I feel better because of the weight loss so that's good um, creatively still dead nothing can't focus um, very frustrating I, I've and I've tried you know I've opened the editor and I forced myself to do some work and I just feel very loose. I don't know where I'm going. You know, Laura is going through the same thing. We're both going through the same thing at the moment. It's very frustrating. Because normally in a, in a good marriage, as ours is, you, you know, one of you is up. If the other one's down, the other one's up. So you can pull them up. But we're both down at the moment. So it's really difficult. It's kind of hard to get through at the moment. It's not, not a great time. Um, was that it? Mental skin condition? Yeah. Oh, itching. I talked about the itching. Um... I'm itching less. No, I'm itching less. Like at night, I'm not itching. Huh. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that until today, but I'm itching less. So, I don't know if I'm going to continue this diet. That's the point, right? At day seven, I think a lot of this is I'm feeling because of my weight, right? So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see today out and see whether my way in tomorrow I've lost weight um, but if I'm steady again I'm like well okay this is maybe this run its course or maybe I need to give my body a break I need to have a day off and that doesn't mean binging but that just means I don't know having a steak or something do you know what I mean something to break the monotony or I don't know I don't know can you have a stall after a week and does a stall include gaining weight I need to do some research today Right now, I'm feeling done with this diet. So, but I've, I've got to try and see out the rest of today um, and see whether or not I lose weight tomorrow. If I lose a bit of weight tomorrow, it might motivate me again. But right now, my evaluation of the potato diet is, uh, well, it was an interesting experiment. Um, and I was going to say maybe you can be more disciplined than me, but you can't because I've been perfectly disciplined. You know what? Let's talk about discipline. I feel good about myself for that. Because at the beginning of this whole journey, when I first said, I'm going on the potato diet for two weeks, I said, by the way, um, I assumed I was going to give up immediately. And something changed in me during this where I'm just like connected to it. My wife went and got ice cream last night and I took her to the market and I stood in front of the um, freezer, the ice cream, the freezer in the market as she picked out ice cream and I didn't have anything. 
It was amazing. That's big for me. That's really big for me. Because I love a conspirator, man. <laughs> I love a comrade to go down the rabbit hole with. Do you know what I mean? Like, if they're eating shit, that gives me license, you know. And I didn't do that last night. So I've got to acknowledge that my discipline is better, which makes me feel more confident for whatever I choose next. If it's continuing the diet, or if it's trying a slow reintroduction, maybe I can reintroduce foods that give me more variety like a salad maybe today i can have a salad you know what i mean <laughs> fucking boring now isn't it <laughs> steak or salad steak or salad mm. uh. anyway no real conclusions here other than though the potato diet interesting experiment it does feel like a reset so it's kind of healthy it makes you mindful it makes you really think about what you're eating well for the first few days it does and then after that you're not even thinking it's just the, it's just a potato going in your fucking mouth. Um, all right, I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop. Day seven. If you see another video from me tomorrow, you know I've... Well, it will either say tomorrow will be a video saying, I'm not doing this anymore, or it will be saying, hey, I lost weight. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah, all right, nuggets. Hmm. Portada.